Hey everyone, it's Kyla. Welcome to or back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my top 15 healthy habits that changed my life. And these are all recent habits that have really made a huge difference in my health and well being. So let's get into it. Okay, so my first tip is to stick to a routine. When I started going to bed at about 10 or 10.30 and waking up every morning at 6.30 or 7, I noticed a huge difference in my health and well-being. It helped me to sleep better, it helped me to have more energy throughout the day. I think that a lot of times in college, and this happened to me, you can get into a cycle of kind of going to bed at midnight one night or waking up at 4.30 the next morning to study and it basically just throws you off and I know. The next tip that I have that has really made a huge difference in my health and is a habit that I want to continue to carry with me for the rest of my life is to sweat it out. If you're the kind of person who can sweat, just get that sweat going. I made it a habit to sweat it out at least three to five times a week. Sweating is your body's natural detoxification process. And if you're able to sweat it out for you know 20 to 30 minutes or more, it just really helps to clear your head and in turn, I think that that gave me a lot less headaches and it also helped me to sleep better. Um, so. Healthy habit that really changed my life is probably one of the most challenging for me and that is to not stress over other people's stresses. And I think that people really um, undervalue the amount of, the amount that stress can have a physical effect on our bodies. When I start stressing out, not only about my stresses, but about other people's stresses, it just becomes almost too much to handle. The next healthy habit that I made that has changed my life is not asking myself if I want to exercise, just exercising. So don't say, oh, do I feel like it? Do I not feel like it? You just do it. And then you'll be shocked again at how many times you don't think you felt like exercising, but once you get going and once you get your body moving, you're like, oh yeah, this is making me feel a lot better and I'm really glad that I did this. Okay, the next healthy habit taking my vitamins. Um, I can go into a whole video on vitamins and the supplements that have really changed my health and my life, but I get into the habit of every morning, I take my pre-breakfast vitamins and then I take a couple vitamins with breakfast and then I take a couple vitamins with lunch. I would definitely recommend investigating what vitamins you might be missing and starting to incorporate those in your life. Next tip. Um, this kind of goes to what I was saying earlier, but invest in your physical and emotional well-being. I think that your physical and emotional well-being are something that can kind of fall to the wayside until I got older that I realized that by investing in my physical and emotional well-being, I was actually able to be better at everything else and be a better person and be a better girlfriend and sister and daughter. Make sure that you're prioritizing your physical and emotional health. I think that for each person this is different, but for me, um, like I said, exercising, sweating, um, taking some time for self-care. I have a long self-care night routine that I just love that I get into and it just clears my mind and makes me feel better no matter what's going on. I really started to make a habit was surround yourself with positive people and also make a conscious effort to be a positive person. If you can reduce your complaining, it'll just make you a better person. So try your best not to complain. Of course, venting is different but I remember particularly my freshman year of college, and this is something that I'm kind of ashamed of now, I didn't really know what to talk with anybody about in classes. So I found myself just complaining about the classes because I didn't feel like I had anything else to relate to people with. And I, as I got older, I realized that this just made me unlikable. And um, yeah, so don't be a complainer, don't be negative, be a positive person, be that person who people are excited to see and who brings their energy up, not down. Make a habit of not complaining, make a habit of not surrounding yourself with negative people and you'll feel a lot better and it will make a huge difference in your health and your well-being. The next healthy habit that I have incorporated into my life is the 80-20 rule. And I could do a whole video on the 80-20 rule. Everything in moderation, you shouldn't limit yourself to anything, you shouldn't deprive yourself of anything. So now, for example, I eat healthy 80% of the time and then I indulge 20% and that makes it so that it's so much easier for me to be consistent with that healthy eating. I eat healthy most of the time and then if I wanna have chips, I have chips and I move on and I move back to eating healthy. Not that chips are horrible for you, but the way I eat them, trust me. <laughs> one of the most important, but again, one of the hardest to make a habit. Stop worrying what people think about you. This is such a waste of energy. As long as you're being a good person and you're treating people well and you're maintaining your dignity, 
there is no need to worry constantly what people think of you. Most of the time, people aren't thinking about you at all. So just keep that in mind. This is a lot more lighthearted tip, but this is a habit that has changed my life. Don't stay up late watching Netflix or Amazon Prime. Just don't do it. On the weekends, I think it's fine, but during the week, I used to get wrapped up in Netflix and YouTube videos, and before I knew it, I was going to bed at midnight. It's just not worth it. Go to bed on time. Don't stay up late watching Netflix or Amazon during the week. Just don't do it. Next tip, don't talk poorly about people. When you talk poorly about people, it does something to your soul, and for me, it gives me anxiety whenever I talk poorly about somebody because I feel like, why did I do that? Like, why did I even bring that up? Why was I pointing out something bad about somebody? Focus on the positive and don't talk poorly about people. I think that that's different than having somebody to confide in. For me, I confide in my mom, I confide in my boyfriend and vent my frustrations or vent my thoughts. Okay, next tip, prioritize your gut health. People don't understand or know that your gut health feeds your mind. So if you want to be successful in your job or your education or um, whatever it is that you're doing and you're starting to feel foggy brained. This happened to me for years and I literally thought that I was becoming dumb because I couldn't think and it was rubbing off on my confidence and my um, just who I felt that I was and, and what I thought that I could accomplish and it all came back down to poor gut health. I have to say this because everyone says this, but make sure that you're drinking a lot of water. And one of the things that I have made a habit of is during the week, if at all possible, or unless I'm indulging, don't drink alcohol, don't drink soda, stick to sparkling water if you like it, or fresh cold pressed green juices and things like that. But just make sure that you're staying hydrated. Tea is another great option. Um, you can incorporate tea for something warm and comforting. And I find that if I drink tea or bubbly water or something like that, it often fills that spot where I felt like I needed a glass of wine. Finally, my last tip and something that I would recommend for everyone is to incorporate some Pilates and some core strength into your healthy habits. Make that a habit to work on your posture. For me, I have noticed a huge difference since I started incorporating more Pilates into my routine in just the way that I'm able to walk around. Like my core is stronger. I feel like I walk taller. I feel like I walk with more confidence. And overall, it has just given my body more of a lengthening um, lean effect. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like these healthy habits, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. That you all are doing well and staying healthy and I hope that these healthy habits um, were valuable to you and something that you can incorporate into your routine as well.